So one more configuration file to care about here is the fly.toml file, which is a configuration that determines a few things about your application. So we have an application name here. Ours was auto-generated, so it's just mistyfrost480. After your app exists, changing this will mess it up a little bit. So if you change the application name, you're going to be generating a new application, essentially. The application name also determines the fly subdomain used, right? So the fly subdomain I am calling here is mistyfrost480.fly.dev to see that because I don't have a custom domain set up. Now we can define a bunch of stuff here. This is all going to work out of the box for Laravel here. So you don't necessarily need to tweak any of this, but of course you can. It's setting some app environments, right? So this is the stuff you might otherwise see in your .env file. Currently my application code has no .env file because that is in the Docker ignore file. If you want yours to be used, you can just remove this from the Docker ignore file and on the next deploy, they'll be present in your application code. For now, I've set that stuff in the .env block here. So it's in production. The log channel gets changed to standard error, which helps us get log output within the console and also with the fly logs command. Now, a bunch of this is auto-generated, so we don't necessarily need to care about all of it. Like the experimental section here are a bunch of defaults. Script checks is some default. HTTP checks all defaults. I think the things to care about here is that the internal port is 8080. It's not listening on port 443. Instead, it's listening on port 8080. And um, that's the internal port being used. That web requests are routed to this internal port. But externally, Fly is going to expose public ports 80 and 443. So this can accept requests on these two ports. We have some concurrency settings, right? A hard limit of 25 concurrent connections. And then health checks. Health checks are going to be TCP-based health checks. So every 15 seconds, this is going to do a health check to the internal port, port 8080, with a timeout of two seconds. So it's going to check every 15 seconds to make sure your app is actually up and running. Now, one other thing to show you here is that the fly launch command sets a secret for you. So if I do fly secrets list, it's going to read this fly.toml file and know the application I'm talking about is mistyfrost480. And it's going to see that we have this app key secret listed, right? Because our app key, you know, it's not defined here as an environment variable. Instead, it's a secret. And Laravel is going to be able to read that in within our application here. So that application key is actually set for you automatically when you run that fly launch command.